ask is then how much of what we see in today in terms of veneration of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam actually matches what the Sahaba did, or at least draws from what the Sahaba did. Or are Muslims in general given to excess in praising the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Are Muslims engaging in a form of what's being termed and only sight individuals prophet worship? Well, ayyadu billah, well, ayyadu billah. And did the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in fact warn us of this when he said in the famous hadith, "La tutruni kama atrat al-nasara Isa ibn Maryam." Do not do itra of me the way the Christians did itra of Isa ibn Maryam, Jesus the son of Mary. Now I purposely not translated that term itra because it's typically translated as do not exaggerate my praise the way the Christians exaggerated the praise of Isa ibn Maryam. Itra in Arabic means mujawazatul had. To be specific, it means to transgress a boundary. So the meaning of the hadith is do not transgress the boundary of my praise the way the Christians did Jesus the son of Mary. How did the Christians transgress that boundary? By attributing divinity to Sayyidina Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. Did they transgress the boundary by saying that Sayyidina Isa is Nabiullah? No. Did they transgress the boundary by saying he's Ruhullah? No. Did they transgress the boundary by saying by the permission of Allah he gives life to the dead? No. Did they transgress the boundary by saying by the permission of Allah he heals the sick, he heals the leper? No. Did they transgress the boundary by saying by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he walks on water? No. That was the, tra the transgression of the boundary that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala censors the Christians for in al Quran al Karim. The kufr came as a result of them attributing divinity to Sayyidina Isa alayhi salatu was salam. So this hadith, far from a warning in one regard, was the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam outlining for us the parameter of his praise, which is that we can attribute every perfection to him short of attributing divinity to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And for anybody to attribute divinity to any one of the Anbiya or Rasul, or in fact any one of the creation of Allah is kufr. There's no question about this. It's kufr. For somebody to equate Allah with the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in knowledge, for instance, to say that the knowledge of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is exactly the same in extent, in nature and quiddity as Allah. This is kufr. There's no question about this. For somebody to say the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a literal light from the that of Allah is kufr.